be discussing a question related to continuous probability distribution. The question says if the if the density function of continuous random variable x is given by the function f of x and all these are the limits. Uh, all these are the values for the limits given here. So the sub question is to find the value of a, find cumulative distribution function of x and uh, the probability distribution when x value is greater than 2.5. So here we have to notice that uh, if for every x belonging to the range of continuous random variable we assign a real number f of x such that f of x should be greater than 0 and the range of the integral of f of x d of x should always be equal to 0. This is similar to that of uh, the discrete probability distribution just that here we have to take the limits. So let's start solving the question. So as f of x is a probability distribution function it has to obey these two laws f of x is probability distribution function it has to obey these two laws so using the uh, using the second law we can write that uh, integral of minus infinity to plus infinity f of x d of x can be taken as sum of all of this so if there's a uh, so let's start writing the limits minus infinity to 0 f of x d of x plus 0 to 2 f of x dx plus 2 to 4 f of x dx anyways I am not gonna write this because it's the value is 0 so ultimately it will be 0 it has to be equal to 1 so <clears throat> solving this further 0 plus 0 to 2 f of x dx plus 2 to 4 f of x dx is equal to 1 so here you will write the value of f of x when it is from the range 0 to 2 that is a of x so a of x you have written and again here a of x into dx here also 2 to 4 here you will write 4 minus 6 into a into d of x is equal to 1 further uh, a of x dx can be written as a x square by 2 and the limits from 0 to 2 and this part can be written as a you take it outside 4x minus x square by 2 limit from 2 to 4 is equal to 1 okay solving this further a by 2 take 2 outside and here x square is 4 minus 0 plus a you take outside here 16 minus 16 by 2 minus 8 minus 4 by 2 yes is equal to 1 when you solve this you will get the value of a is equal to 1 by 4 so now that you have got the value of a to be 1 by 4 substitute it in the uh, all the values to find so so the first part you have done to find the value of a next to find cumulative distributive function of uh, x substitute the value of a here so cumulative distributive function of x can be written as f of x is equal to p of minus infinity to plus x you can write it as minus infinity to x f of x dx for x greater than 0 f of x would be 0 for x uh, in the range 0 to 2 f of x would be x by 4 0 to x dx that is x square by 8 x square by 8 for x in the range 2 to 4 f of x would be 2 to 4 4 minus x by 4 into df d of x if you solve this take 1 by 4 outside 2 to 4 4 minus 6 into d of x further solving this you will get it as 1 by 4 4 x minus x square by 2 2 to 4 so if you solve this 1 by 4 into 2 if you solve this you will get 1 by 4 into 2 that is 1 by 2 now for uh, yeah so 
we have covered the uh, limits so this is how we can calculate the cumulative distributive function of x now writing the probability distribution for x when it is greater than or equal to 2.5 you can write it as 2.5 to infinity f of x d of x so it will be 2.5 to 4 f of x d of x because the limits uh, uh, we can get the limit still 4 and from 4 to infinity we know that it uh, we know that it is 0 so you need not write now solving this further you get it as um, solving this part further you get it as 4 2.5 limits specify the limits 4 minus x by 4 into d of x when you solve this you get 1 by 4 4x minus x square by 2 here 2.5 here 4 solving this 1 by 4 4 4 okay 1 by 4 here 8 minus 6.87 now solving this further you get the final answer as 0 0.2825 so this is how we uh, solve a question related to your continuous distribution function if you have any doubts, please do let me know in the comments. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.